we are going to be evaluating the given function for the following two things. So we're given f of x, and we are told to find f of negative 3 and then f of negative x minus 1. So first I'm going to work on finding f of negative 3. And f of negative 3 is telling us to take negative 3 and plug it into x into our given function. So essentially we're just getting rid of x and replacing it with a negative 3. So that looks like negative 2 times x squared, where x is negative 3, so that's negative 3 squared, minus 7 times x, which again is a negative 3, plus 4. Now remember your order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So for us, we need to take care of our exponent here. Drop down the negative 2. Negative 3 squared, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop everything else down. Multiply before you add or subtract. Negative 2 times 9 is a negative 18. Negative 7 times negative 3 is a positive 21. Uh, plus that 4 that we have there at the end. I almost thought that was a minus 14. So if we do negative 18 plus 21, that is giving us a positive 3, and 3 plus 4 is 7. So f of negative 3 is equal to 7. That would also be counted as a point if we were to graph this. If we plug in negative 3 for x, we get 7 for y. That would actually signify a point negative 3, 7. Now, to do f of negative x minus 1, we are doing the same thing. We're going to take the same function, but now we are plugging in a negative x minus 1 for x instead. So that is a negative 2 times x squared, where x is negative x minus 1 squared, minus 7 times that x, which again is a negative x minus 1, and then plus 4. So this is what we got to simplify. So we have a, we need to take care of our parentheses first. We need to do negative x minus 1, and we need to square that. So over here off to the side, negative x minus 1 times negative x minus 1. Foil this, distribute this. I'm going to distribute this. Negative x times negative x. Well, negative times negative is positive, and x times x is x squared. Negative x times negative 1 is a positive x. Now distribute the negative 1. Negative 1 times negative x is a positive x. And negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. So when we combine our like terms here in the middle, that is actually x squared plus 2x plus 1. So I'm going to drop down the negative 2. And when we squared this, we got x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now we are going to distribute that negative 7. So negative 7 times negative x is a positive 7x. Negative 7 times negative 1 is a positive 7. And I'm going to drop down that plus 4. Okay, let's continue to simplify here. We're going to distribute the negative 2. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. Negative 2 times 1 is a negative 2. And then just drop the back of the equation down here so that we can look at what like terms we need to combine. Like terms here, well, let's see, we only have one of our x squares. We have negative 4x, positive 7x as far as our x terms. And as far as our numbers, we have negative 2, positive 7, positive 4. So when we combine this all here for the n, drop down the negative 2x squared because it has nothing to combine with. Negative 4 plus 7x is 3x. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5, and 5 plus 4 is 9. So f of negative x minus 1 is equal to that right there.